Jake <coughs> Kitchell, questions for our student athletes. Jake, uh, something was needed when you were down seven. Talk, uh, you know, talk about what uh, what you guys were able to conjure and uh, you know what you felt uh, was needed at that point. Um, it's always been the composure. You know, we've, we've been in some games. We've been up and down. Uh, been a roller coaster. Uh, just just gotta stay with it. Stay stick to the pace. Um, Stick to the game plan. Um, lock in on our defenders. Um, we had a couple mental lapses, but we fell down seven, and we just we just couldn't give up. Though uh, Coach Collins pretty good in the huddle. Um, we knew we had to kind of look ourselves in the mirror and kind of tighten up a little bit, and uh, we were able to do that and uh, you know stick it in there. You spoke of composure, Jake. It's no secret. I mean, your career is winding down here. How much are you bound and determined to not let you guys just have a slip up here in the, in the final few weeks of the season? Um, yeah, that's that's my number one goal. But like you said, uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm not worried about any of that. Southern Illinois game's over. I'm looking for Wednesday. Um, that's all we can look forward to. Um, it's a big one. It, every one from here on out is, and, and we start with that one, and we got to win that one before we can move on. So uh, the next game on Wednesday, I don't even know who we play, but uh, we'll get locked in on them tomorrow, and uh, we'll move on. Attacking their zone, uh, you know, it, it looks like in the first half, you know, you were able to find some holes, but rush you and they, they make you shoot quick uh, once you get into those holes. You know, what, what made the difference uh, kind of unlocking it in the second half? Yeah, we were too stagnant in the first half. Um, we kind of let the zone match up with us. Not enough cutting, not enough passing the ball around. Uh, we were holding it too much, just letting it stick in our hands. So second half, we uh, we made some adjustments. Um, Coach uh, drew up some stuff at halftime to tell us to kind of look at uh, different certain spots on the floor to get to. We still didn't, didn't or wasn't as effective as out of it, but we got the job done enough, and they kind of got the zone late in the game because we had the lead. So uh, we think when, when when people are guarding us man to man, we can uh, we can eat them up, and then uh, we got to work on our zone a little bit. But when shots start falling, it's a little bit easier. We just haven't been hitting lately, but uh, they'll uh, they'll let them fall. Force some turnovers too to kind of get things going. You know, I, I think there were two turnovers right after SIB won the seven. Uh, but that's always important for those, particularly important for them. Um, yeah, um, turnovers and Kitch having some big time blocks and big time help help side plays, um, and that's what Devonte does when he gets in the game. I think he had one of them. I'm not quite sure if it was him or not, but make big plays. You know, we, we just gotta stick our nose in there, and um, when we're down seven, someone's gotta step up. Uh, next man up. I know Manny got in some foul trouble when he was in and out of the game, but uh, Devonte came in and got a steal, and then some other guys played some pretty good defense to help us get going. Yeah, Kitch, uh, team had uh, what nine. Ten rods overall, and, and there were four in that run that you met, that 11 0 run where you guys took the lead. Uh, the blocks have been up over the course of the last few games. Uh, you know, talk about it in reference to today's game, and then also just how you guys are standing your ground a little bit better down low and getting some opportunities to <coughs> get some blocks. Yeah, I think it all just comes back to understanding our role. In, in the game today, it was just being a big time helper, uh, just in the paint, anywhere anywhere anybody came into the paint. That was that was our job, the five job, just to be a big time help. And, down there and eating anything up that, that came that way. And we kind of talked about just having an enforcer down there. We didn't really have one. We haven't had one for the majority of the season. And so that's kind of a, a role we, we've been talking talking about is, is getting an enforcer down there and just somebody to be big and, and alter shots down there. So that's just kind of something that I've been trying to improve on uh, at lately. Kitch, those last, these last few games, it really hasn't been there in the points category, but it's the, the other thing, the rebounds, the block shots, the taking charges. How much do you think that affects the team and the, and the momentum and getting them out and going? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's all within staying in my role, basically. We all know our roles on the team, and, and, and my role is to come in with energy and, and defense and, and be a big, big time helper out there. And so that's just kind of what I do. I just kind of try to stay within my thing. And, and if I get a layup here and there, then, then great. I can help my team that way. But most of the time, it's going to be with defense. It's going to be with rebounding. It's going to be with helping and taking charges, things like that, just the little things that that uh, that the team needs me to do. Either one of you guys get to 20 wins, but you're not, you're not done yet. You're still hungry. Lansing said there's still work to do, but it's still nice to get 20 wins and keep moving forward with the season. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, it's obviously a, a, a good point, you know, to get to 20 wins, but at the beginning of the season, our goal was to have, have more than that. We, we gave up some wins that we could have had or we're taking losses. So, we're trying to make up a little bit for that, and um, just staying aggressive out there. We want to uh, move on, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. We got to we got to focus in on the game on Wednesday and, and, and look at that. Jake, you had the uh, end one during that run, and it was on a pass from Jake where he, he 
attack diagonally through the, like away from the basket through the lane and through no look against his body to get to the end one. I mean, it was a great pass. You talk about receiving a pass like that and kind of knowing, I mean, obviously you have to be ready for something like that. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, just to get the ball and be able to convert off of something like that, you know, and it's part of playing with Jake, but, you know, can you just talk about that? Yeah, um, it, it's something that I'll, I've had to work on a lot just throughout my career here in my hands and, and being ready and being aware. Even midway through the season, I had some passes that I would mishandle and things like that. So um, you just got to be ready for them at all times. You know, you never know when it's going to come. And you just got to be aware and ready and have your hands ready at all times. And, and a lot of the credit goes to um, me and Coach Gates, our strength coach, have been doing a lot of hand and footwork stuff. And so a lot of credit goes there. Um, but yeah, it's just about being ready at all times, basically have your hands ready because you never know when you're going to get it. And if you are, you're going to get in a good position to be able to score. Yeah, Jake, we talk about attack mode, and sometimes we talk about it in reference to your scoring, and that certainly was evident today, but, you know, talk about having these guys ready to be in attack mode for, 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 for a pass like that, which, uh, you, know, you know, just talk about how important it is for your teammates to be ready. Yeah, um, I, uh, I miss him a lot of the times, and, and that's something I like to do. Um, like, Kitch, is, he's, the last few games, he, I probably missed him five to ten times at that in good positions. And, I just go up to him after the play and let him know, hey, I see you down there, you know, keep keep being ready for it, I'm going to get you the ball. And uh, the one he made today, the, the catch, and, and Joe, that's big time, you know, that's a big time play. Um, he said something about not scoring, but he takes three shots, score five points, it's huge. You know, it's a big, big step up for us. But the guys know I'm going to give them the ball. I try and get everybody the ball, try and get them their touches, um, and, and they know that I'm going to get it to them, so, so they're always ready. And um, it's frustrating sometimes when I don't, uh, when I throw one and they don't catch it, and I'm sure it's frustrating for them if I miss them on a pass. Um, know to get them where they need a ball put in their shooting pocket so uh, it goes both ways but uh, we've had a good chemistry out there with the ball and, and passing it to each other so I think it's good. Hey, Gentlemen thank you.